Hello everyone, this is Final Shelter Amit Dan of Elon Journal. Today I'll talk about how to avoid aeroplane carrier surcharges. A lot of us avoid collecting and utilizing aeroplane miles because of the many horror stories that lead us to believe that it's not worth going through all the hassle to pay hefty carrier charges, also known as fuel surcharges or taxes fees or surcharges to enjoy what are supposed to be free reward flights. However, this fear of paying hefty charges should not stop you from enjoying free flights, especially on business class. With a few tips and careful planning, you can fight back against Air Canada and other airlines that charge you fees on airplane reward flights. There are some airlines that charge nothing to enjoy your reward flights, some that charge skyrocketing surcharges and some that charge very little surcharges. Before you book your next reward flights, keep this list handy and avoid these airlines that charge you. Here are some airlines that charge skyrocketing surcharges and you should always avoid these airlines. For example, Air Canada, ANA, Asiana Airlines, Austrian, Lufthansa, Thai Airways. Now the following three airlines they charge very little surcharges. For example, Air New Zealand, LOT and TAP. Here are some airlines that absolutely do not charge any surcharges and you should always use these airlines. For example, Aegean, Air China, Air India, Avianca, Brussels Airlines, Copa, Croatia, Egypt Air, Ethiopian Airlines, Eva Air, SAS, Sanjian, Singapore Airlines, South African Airlines, Swiss, TACA, Turkish Airlines and United Airlines. Here is an example to illustrate. I searched on April 3, 2016 for a business class one-way flight from Toronto to Singapore on November 1, 2016. This journey is covered by Air Canada and Thai Airways requiring 77,500 aeroplane miles. Because both of these airlines charge surcharges, this free flight is going to cost you a staggering $943 to pay surcharges. Now, if you have taken the same trip on Turkish Airlines, which does not charge any surcharges, your cost will be only $61.56. If you have taken the same trip covered by Air Canada and Singapore Airlines, your cost will be $583 because Singapore Airlines does not charge any uh, anything on its portion. However, Air Canada is charging its fees, so that's why the total fuel surcharges or carrier charges would be $583. So there is no reason to avoid the Aeroplan Rewards program. All you need is to do all you need is to know how to use this program and how this program works and use careful planning to get the most out of it. That's all for today. Thank you.